C, 6.4, electrolysis of brine, answers to the questions. So you're given a number of examples here. You need to decide which of the ions will be given off first or discharged first. In each case, we've got chlorine and copper. Chlorine is a halogen, so it's always given off in preference to any other negative ion. And then copper is less reactive than hydrogen, so copper will be given off first. Here, bromine being the halogen is given off, hydrogen is less reactive than sodium, iodine is another halogen given off first, and hydrogen is less reactive than magnesium. Chlorine, the halogen is given off, and silver is given off here because it is less reactive than hydrogen. Bromine is a halogen, which will be given off first, and hydrogen is less reactive than sodium, and oxygen is given off, and copper is given off because it is less reactive than hydrogen. Okay, so we can't do the experiment here, but I did give you the information in the video to help you answer these questions. So the gas that's formed at the cathode is hydrogen. The test for the gas is a lighted splint, which gives us a squeaky pop. The gas that's given off at the anode, mistake there, sorry, is chlorine. And the test is blue litmus paper, it turns white. And the test, uh, sorry, the pH of the remaining electrolyte is 14. And that's sodium hydroxide, it's a strong alkali. Now for those on the higher booklet, you're asked to watch a video about the electrolysis of sodium chloride or brine. So question one, answer is solution mining. Two is brine. Three, the gases are produced at the positive and negative electrodes of the membrane cell is chlorine and hydrogen. What are the three main products of sodium chloride? Sodium hydroxide, chlorine and hydrogen. And what happens to the used brine in the mercury cell process? It's recycled and it will be electrolyzed again. So either of those really. What are the three uses of sodium hydroxide? It's used for making soap, paper and synthetic fibers. And the four uses of chlorine are water purification, making plastics, insecticides and bleach. The electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride solution is an important industrial process. Complete the table with the products and the uses. So the chemicals at the anode is chlorine. Its uses are bleach, water purification, plastics and insecticides. At the cathode it's hydrogen and that's used for hardening fats, so turning vegetable oil into margarine and fuel for the fuel cell. The remaining solution is sodium hydroxide and that is used for soap, paper, synthetic fibres. Completing the two half equations, at the anode, two chlorine ions form chlorine gas and they lose two electrons. At the cathode, two hydrogen ions gain two electrons and they become hydrogen gas. You're given a series of rules here for electrolysis and then asked to apply them. So they want to know what is discharged in an aqueous solution. So at the positive electrode, we have chlorine and the negative, we have hydrogen because hydrogen is less reactive than sodium and chlorine is a halogen, so it's given off first. Aqueous solution of copper chloride is going to be chlorine because it's halogen, always given off first, and copper is less reactive than hydrogen, so copper is given off first. So, sodium bromide at the positive electrode is bromine because it's a halogen, given off first, and the negative electrode is going to be hydrogen because it is less reactive than sodium. Half equations. So you can see the gaps filled in here. These are for molten compounds. There is no water in these at all. So we only have to worry about these ions in each case. 
Sodium gains an electron, becomes sodium metal. Two bromine ions form bromine liquid and loses two electrons. Copper gains two electrons to become copper metal. Chlorine loses two electrons to become chlorine gas. Silver gains an electron to become silver. Bromine becomes bromine liquid and it loses two electrons. Copper gains two electrons to become copper. And aluminium gains three electrons to become aluminium metal. And oxygen ions form oxygen gas and lose four electrons. This table is exactly the same apart from those in yellow, okay, which I've marked there. The significant ones are that hydrogen is given off in both of these because hydrogen is less reactive than lead and is less reactive than sodium. And here hydrogen is less reactive than magnesium. At the positive electrode, because there's no halogen present here or here, oxygen is given off. And that happens when four hydroxide ions, four OH minus ions, form oxygen and water and lose four electrons.